Welcome back to Book From Tape. I'm Jordan Woods Robinson, and we are empowering actors with the tools you need to book your auditions directly from tape. Uh, and I'm gonna say something that's gonna be not popular with some people, and that's okay, but allow me to defend myself. I don't get, I used to do it, I don't get now people marking up their scripts. The highlighter, the writing in the margins, all of that, all of that work. And again, this is not gonna be popular, that's fine. But here's my reasoning why. All of, all of, all of this beat work, all of the working on, working on beats, putting the slashes, writing your actions in the margin, writing character descriptions, um, highlighting stuff, I, I learned all that. I used to embrace it fully when I, especially when I was doing a lot of theater, right? Uh, because in a theatrical setting, you might be rehearsing uh, this scene with the director and your scene partner on Monday. You might not be able to get back to it until Friday, but you want to be able to pick up on Friday with the exact same thing that you left off. You, want, you don't want to lose time there. Um, five days later, you want to be able to say, great, and we're back and we're working from the same spot. And this is a diary of everything that we talked about. I see all the beats here. I remember, oh yeah, we we're working on this action. Okay, great, I get it. Put it aside, let's get to work on Friday, you know? In the film and TV setting, when you're on set, when you're working with, on, you know, when you're actually there, you're gonna be working with your scene partner and you're doing your scene. Oftentimes the director is gonna come up to you in between takes or during a take and say, whoa, hold on. And, and come up to you and want to offer some feedback then. That is your rehearsal. That, you know, it, it's a 50-50 blend of this is the final product and also we're rehearsing until we get that final product, right? And so the idea of having a script and all these things marked down, you're not gonna have time to go back to your chair and change, oh, oh, you wanna change the beat? Okay, let me just erase this. Okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. That's not gonna happen, right? So in that sense, it might help you to be prepared for this, but you're not gonna be able to use it for, um, for your final, day, right? But all that aside, the whole point of learning a script is to get it off the page, to get these little black words off of this white page and to get them into your brain on a scroll that is effortless, that isn't even associated with the page anymore, that is just here in your mind and as you're responding to the other person, they're just naturally flowing out of your mouth and into the world, right? And the more that we write on the page, the more that we lock into that, the more that we are imprinting that page in our brain and we are reliant on that so that I know when I get to this line, it's at the top of page two, oh, and I wrote this in the margin and now I'm picturing that instead of just knowing what the words are and being able to listen, right? And don't get me wrong, there is, that can be a great tool. In order, to, in order to get it off your page and into your brain, in order to associate the words, right? But at the end of the day, all of that work can be done without ever writing anything down. Uh, it can be done by going through and saying it out loud by rather than writing down the action or writing down what your background is, tell it to the other person while you're rehearsing it with yourself, tell it to the other person, give them a monologue about why you're doing what you're doing or, or, or how this memory that you wanted to write down on the page, how it affected you and, and put it into the space. And it's going to make it more real for you. And next time you come to that line in the scene, you're gonna remember that monologue that you want to say, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna think that and then I'm gonna say this other thing, right? And it, it allows you to leave the page aside. The one thing that I do enjoy uh, with the page is finding the words sometimes that the other person is saying that you hear and that's what you're responding to the next time you talk. Because we don't, in a conversation, we don't wait for one person to finish speaking before we have our line, before if we're in a conversation. We hear something in that other person's opinion, conversation, and we hear like one specific word and that triggers something in us that makes us say, oh, I wanna talk about that. Right, so, but the dogs, did you really think that we were just, whatever that is, right? And, but they, I had that thought mid-sentence of theirs and I had to wait 
for them to finish it before I could get in, even though I was having the thought the whole time. So to go through and to find those words or those phrases or whatever it is that this person says that makes you perk up and have that next thought that makes you want to go through. Sometimes I'll go through and I'll circle those just to make it super obvious when you're listening to them that, oh, that word's really important, right? And I'll, I'll circle that on the page. Um, otherwise, the, the trick of this is to get it all off the page. And the more we put things on the page, we, the more we lock ourselves into that page, right? So allow yourself to have that same process, to find those same beats, to do everything you need to do, but put the page down. Find it in your body. Find it in your own words. Find it in this plane, right? So that now, rather than picturing a, a white piece of paper, you're picturing having said that to the person before. I told you this story before, and it's, it's in my memory. And now I can access that while I'm saying the words that were on the page, as opposed to picturing my scribbled handwriting and kind of being present with you, but also my brain is not quite 100% with you. All right? Try it. I'm a big fan. I never highlight. You don't need to highlight. This isn't about counting lines. Anyway, that's another thing. Thank you so much. I'm Jordan S. Robinson with Book From Tape. Uh, you can check us out on our podcast if you want to take us with you on the road or on a jog or anything else quick little podcast snippets. Also, we got uh, another video here. If you want to check out more videos in our coaching series, i uh, going to keep these going every once in a while. If you have any ideas, check us out at uh, bookfromtape.com. We offer coaching and reels and websites for actors and other tools in order to empower the film and TV actor to book directly from tape. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.